this week, world leaders are going to be discussing that topic of refugees and migration. More people are on the move around the world than at any time since the Second World War. And here at the UN this week to talk about this is the actor and director Ewan McGregor, who's also a United Nations Children's Fund ambassador. So Ewan McGregor, tell me, what do you hope to achieve by being here? I'm sort of here to spread the word. I went to northern Iraq earlier this year to visit some of the displacement camps and the uh, refugee camps there in the north and round about Erbil and um, was very moved by what I saw. And I guess my job as a UNICEF ambassador is to, is to go and visit projects and see with my own eyes and feel with my own heart what's going on there and then try and bring that back and somehow talk about it either to raise money for UNICEF or here with the media. And in this, in this instance, to try and encourage the world leaders who are going to be meeting here in the next two days to put children's rights at the heart of their discussions, to remind them that children are victims in, this, in all of this uh, turmoil in the world and to remember them. You met many such children, refugee children, when you went to northern Iraq. Are there any stories that stand out to you? There was one very uh, cheeky and funny little girl I met called Myrna, who who I'll always remember was a lovely little girl. And she she had been displaced from her village en masse in, in some act of violence with ISIS meant that they all left at the same time. And they ended up in the streets of Erbil and they moved into a half-built shopping mall. And it was a very... Um, she took me there to look around. It was a very dangerous place to live. You would never want your children to be roaming around there. There was lots of ledges they could fall off. It was dangerous. And they moved in there. The person who was building the mall allowed them in and stopped working on his mall. I imagined in Britain or in America, here in America, if a businessman was building a mall, you know, having the generosity to stop work and allow the community in there. And she showed me around. She was an amazing little girl. And now has found herself living in a, in a displacement camp there for two years. What impact has it had on you hearing the stories of the children and what they went through? Well, it's easy to think of, it's easy to get baffled by the statistics, you know, to hear 28 million displaced children in the world and sort of just sort of like a wall of numbers. And then for me, it's her, it's Myrna, you know, and Mohammed and the other kids that I met there. And I've seen how they're, they're living and they're, they're, kids are amazing resilient. And that's why I've always loved working with UNICEF because they really need our protection and help, but they're incredibly powerful little people, you know, and they're resilient, and that's always sort of uplifting, I suppose, in a way.